How to protect a computer for free? This is probably the question I get asked the most. So I've decided to turn it into a challenge. So in this upcoming series, we're going to try to find out if it is possible to completely protect a computer for no cost whatsoever. So in each episode, I'm going to try a different way to protect a computer, and in the next week, we are going to test it out against all sorts of threats to find out if it actually holds to the test. So this is going to be the first installment in what hopefully will be a series of videos. Today, I'm going to try to protect this brand new install of Windows 10 for free using a combination of products. And you might be surprised as to what my first options are. The first thing on the list might actually surprise you guys. I'm going to head over and grab Sophos Home. This is a free antivirus product from Sophos with enterprise grade management features. So I'm a huge fan of this and I really like the way you can manage your computers on a network. So all you have to do is visit their website and get started. You will have to create an account. I have already done that, so I'll just log in. Now once you've logged in, you're going to see your dashboard, which shows you all your computers that you have registered. We need to add a new one, so I'm going to click on Add Device. And then you can just send this link to the computer of your choice or you can just click the install button if you're running this on that computer itself. Now we should get the installer. It actually turned out to be quite a bit bigger than I expected. I think it was like 190 megabytes. But it is an offline installer so now we just need to run the setup. As you can see, it is a very simple install process. There is no adware or bundleware included. You just have to hit the install button and you're good to go. Now keep in mind, this is not the only program that we'll be using, but this is going to be the base antivirus. I'm not entirely confident about the zero day capabilities of Sophos Home. However, I am confident that they have state-of-the-art signatures, which is why I picked them for the base antivirus protection. This is also a great program when it comes to ease of use, so you shouldn't have any issues whether you are a novice user or an advanced user. And since it can be remote controlled via a network by logging into your Sophos account anytime. You can turn on the real-time protection, you can turn it off, you can block particular websites. So it is great for a variety of scenarios, whether you are a network administrator trying to secure several computers, whether you are the smartest computer guy at home and um, you want one solution for everyone, or if you just own several computers, a laptop maybe, and you want to be able to keep track of the security on them through one management console. This is usually a feature you get with enterprise solutions, but it's awesome that Sophos give you that freedom even with their home antivirus product. The setup also installs the latest updates during the initial configuration process, so you don't have to worry about forgetting to click that update button. As you can see, the installation is finally complete, so you just click on finish and uh, that's good to go. Now we have Sophos running in the background with real-time protection turned on. So you can see this PC is secured. If you want to do a scan, you can do that. Just click on scan over here and it's going to initiate a full system scan. By default, we have automatic virus protection turned on, web protection turned on and PUP detection turned on as well. You can manage exceptions over here, but to add anything or to change any of these settings, you're going to have to log in to your dashboard. After logging in, you can notice that we have a new computer added over here. And if you click on it, you're going to get the various settings. And everything can be modified using this online dashboard. So a fairly easy to use interface, which is pretty much good for everyone. And it gives you the basic antivirus protection you need. 
Now we're going to move to the second product, which is going to be Komodo Firewall. So I'm just going to type it in. And we'll grab the official installer from Komodo. This is again completely free of cost. You want to go ahead and click on free firewall download. Now, once again, the installer is downloading. While this is going on, I'd like to explain why we need this. Sophos is really good when it comes to signatures. It has very good blacklisting, but it does not have any really serious customizable defense mechanisms for dealing with unknown files, which is why we're going to add Komodo Firewall. Now, both of these products should be perfectly compatible because they do different things. Komodo Firewall gives you firewall, hips, that is intrusion prevention, and a sandbox. While Sophos is going to give you the antivirus and basic scanning features. Both of these products are also very light on the system, so you shouldn't really notice the slowdown. But we'll talk more about that during the testing video, which I'll be doing next week. The download is complete, so we're just going to run the installer. You just have to pick a language. And now you want to make a few modifications here. So for starters, enabling cloud-based behavioral analysis is fine, and I'd recommend keeping this on. You don't want to change your home page though. And there are a few other programs over here that you probably don't want to install, like Komodo Geek Buddy, unless you need their support. Chromodo Browser is basically a modified version of Chrome, but we're just going to get Google Chrome, so we'll leave both of these out. So now you want to go ahead and click Agree and Install, and you're just going to get Komodo Firewall without any additional software. This setup process is very quick and easy too. Just remember to click on Customize Installation and modify these settings accordingly. All right, so our product is now installed. You want to hit close. And now you have this desktop widget. If you're not a fan of that, don't worry, this can be turned off. You just want to right click, go to widget and disable show. Now it's only going to pop up over here. You do need to restart your system to complete the setup process. But before that, I'm just going to show you a few of the settings. So you want to go under advanced tasks and open advanced settings. So you want to disable a lot of the things over here. You don't want messages from Komodo Message Center. You can disable the welcome screen on startup. You can disable the sound when alerts are shown. You don't really need to check for program updates every day. You can make this every seven days since this is a firewall program. Now it has detected our network. So I'm just going to say we are at work. Now going into security settings. You want to check out Defense Plus, which has the HIPS. By default, it is enabled and set to safe mode. But if you're installing this on an absolutely clean system and you're sure about that or it's a brand new install of Windows, you can go ahead and click on clean PC mode, which I'm doing because this is a fresh install of Windows. As you can see, the sandbox is also enabled, but auto sandbox is disabled. You might want to go ahead and turn this on if you want additional protection. This way it is going to automatically put most files in the sandbox. So do this if you are a novice user, if you're not sure of the applications that you download, you can always take them out of the sandbox later on. But if you are an advanced user, you probably want to keep this off. Varscope once again should be left on. Firewall settings. There's not really anything that you need to modify over here. If you're getting too many alerts, you can set it to training mode for a few days and then go back to safe mode. You can do the same for the HIPS as well. And finally, file rating system. You have your cloud lookup. You can analyze unknown files automatically. And you may want to disable this do not show pop-up alerts if you are an advanced user. Detection of POPs is also on by default. So that's really all we need to change in here. So I'm just going to hit OK. And after that, we can go ahead and reboot our computer. All right, so now we have our two main security products installed. 
I have also installed Google Chrome and I would recommend doing the same because Google is really good at grabbing phishing links. So it has really good out of the box protection to begin with and you can easily enhance that by adding an extension. So that is what we're going to do right now. We're going to go into settings, extensions, and you just want to click on get more extensions. This will take you to the Chrome web store. And here I want you to search Ophira browser safety plugin. And this will give you the Ophira browser safety extension. You want to add that to Chrome. And this is going to further enhance your website blocking. Sophos by default is pretty good at this, but Ophira have great signatures too, and it's always a great add-on to have. Some of the other pros of this is that you can check for trackers as well, and you can block particular trackers. If you go into settings, you can check show the safety indicator. You can block trackers by default. You can send the do not track header. You want to turn off of your price comparison because that might be annoying for some users. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do. And um, now you're good to go. So. I believe that this system right now is protected and as a regular user you should be able to use it just fine without having the wild threats of the internet intruding into your computer life. But I don't want you to take my word for it. This is the information age. It's all about the scientific method and evidence. So I'm going to take a snapshot of this machine right now. We're going to call it secured one. And next week, I'm going to come back and test this system out rigorously against various malware samples, and we'll see if it holds up to that testing. If not, well, this is probably not a great combination, in which case I am going to be quite embarrassed. But if my understanding and judgment is correct, this should be able to handle that malware bombardment. So go ahead and subscribe to the PC Security channel. You don't want to miss the upcoming video where I test this out. How would you protect a brand new computer? If you have any other ideas, put them down in the comment section below. I will be checking those out and if I like your combination, we might even make a video about it featuring your comment. So go ahead and um, Put all your thoughts down and maybe this is going to help out a lot of users get their security life sorted out. So thank you very much for watching. Consider dropping me something on Patreon if you feel it was worth it. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.